Okay, uh, I want to attempt to talk coherently and, helpful, and, and in a helpful manner about uh, pay grade for dating in Thailand for foreign, older foreign men. Uh, daunting task. I don't know if the channel or I are up for it, but we'll give it a shot. Um, well, first off, define it. So, what do I mean? Uh, you know, back home, we all have a sense of what a reasonable lady is that we would ask out on a date. You'd say to a friend, oh, I don't dare ask her, that's just ridiculous. Or, you know, I mean, if you're, uh, I'm 59 years old, to give you also a relative thing, and I'm on a, uh, apparently a, um, a fair bit better than average uh, pension here. Uh, but also relative to what I, you know, uh, back home, I'm, you know, in some ways I am a shadow of my former self after the, you know, many uh, things back in the States and, you know, recent divorce and all that fun stuff. But uh, having said that, I'm in good, good, you know, here I'm in, I'm in very good shape uh, financially and uh, praise God. And uh, I've taken care of myself for a variety of reasons. Doesn't matter why, uh, but, uh, you know, I do. And so for my age, I, I, I think I probably look pretty good. Um, so, and then my Thai wife takes care of the rest. Uh, she will not allow a, I got a couple gray hairs creeping in. Blonde is on. As soon as she sees a couple gray hairs, she's got the dye out and we're, we're making that blonde to match everything else. Um, anyhow, so pay grades. I mean, so back home, I mean, so me as a 59 year old retired guy, uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of generally have a sense. And if I were to ask out a lady, probably much younger than early 50s or something like that, certainly anyone in their 40s at all, even, you know, 48, 49, it, it's going to be seen as pretty daring. And yeah, I might get away with it and, you know, might, might work out and all that, but that'd be, that'd be pushing my pay grade, right? We all, we all get that. I'm not asking out 30, 35 year old women back home. Generally speaking, that's not going to fly. Uh, also, a woman who's 50 or whatever, 55 and insanely beautiful, I might struggle with that one as well, right? There'll be guys lining up that have millions of dollars hanging out of their pocket and they'll get her before I do. Okay, get that too, all right? But here it's different. Um, here, um, I would say, uh, when I need to back up a second, genuine dating. We're talking about like where the woman really is going to have some care for you because you can just pay for play and get whatever you want. But if she's way out of your league and you're just paying for it, and that's all she's getting out of you is money. Like, I, I financially support fun, and I recommend you financially support a woman if she needs support, if she's highly educated, has a great job, and doesn't have children, and doesn't have to care for parents. Some parents give their kids money. I've seen that. Um, some families don't exchange money at all. I've seen that as well. Uh, but if you've got a traditional Isan village girl, she's probably supporting her parents, and she's got a couple of kids, she's going to need some support from you as well. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, but having said that, an appropriate amount of support is not pay for play. That's just helping. So, taking pay for play out of it, because with pay for play, you can be 85 years old, look like absolute crap, and have a smoking hot 23 year old. But I'm going to tell you, she's not going to love you. <laughs> I don't want to burst your bubble, pal, but she's not going to love you. In fact, uh, uh, they'll be working against you in many ways, and I've seen that. Um, does that get ugly quick? But in terms of genuine, actually someone caring about you, as I do my bag one-handed, um, I can probably date to around 30. The super prime girls that the, that the, that the ties all take up are generally, I mean, before 30, your competition's heavy. Under 30, you've got heavy competition. You've got to be very successful, handsome, has some personality. You got to be offering a lot. We'll, we'll leave it there. I got to. We're going to the Monday morning big market. I'll continue later. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, so uh, continuing on with uh, pay grade. So, so it'll be very different if you if you've got. Uh, it'll all depend on how much you're uh, competing. Forgot these are in you're competing with uh, the Thai men for a lady because they'll win. St straight up fight, so to speak, straight up comparison, they're, they're, they're going to win. So um, uh, if you have, and what the Thai guys really go for is uh, they like the really fair skin tone, okay? 
And then, of course, they're going to like, the rest will be the same things you like. Uh, they're going to like a, a slender, pretty lady, okay? Uh, they're going to particularly be looking for women under 30 or around 30, you know, maybe 32, something like that. And then it starts to just begins to decline in desirability a little bit, the whole thing. And by about 40, um, uh, your, your competition is, is, has, has been reduced a, a, a fair bit. Um, and then a woman over 45 and uh, uh, significantly less competition uh, you'll have for that. And then uh, Fawn's older sister is saying hi. Oh, she's going to be on YouTube. Okay, so she's going to be on... There we go. My YouTube channel has had quite a lot of acceptance from uh, Thailand, uh, almost to a fault, but uh, it's all good. Um, so, so there, and then of course, if you're interested in women, you know, around you know 50 and older, then then you, you really it's all you. Um, you're, you'll find very little competition from Thai men. So, uh, so that's the first factor. Um, so, uh, me, I like the, the beautiful tan skin. And to me, um, and I, I dated a couple of ladies in their 20s because I'm stupid. Um, and and, and it, it, it really, well, whatever, all about that doesn't matter. But uh, I decided one of them was probably a really nice lady or potentially a very nice lady, um, 28 at the time. She's probably 30 or whatever by now. But, um, uh, but you know, I was concerned about acceptance by my children. Uh, my daughter is 29. You know, dating someone the actual age of my daughter, for me, I didn't want to do that. Um, I knew that I had, uh, uh, um, it would just, there'd be too much emotional baggage, or too much social baggage uh, back home for a variety of reasons that don't matter to you, just for me only. So, but uh, I knew that that would just be a problem for a variety of reasons. Um, uh, be giving be giving too much ammunition to other people to make me look as bad as who were interested in making me look as bad as absolutely possible. Um, God bless their little hearts. That's still their goal on a daily basis. Um, so, so for me, you know, dating you know about 20 years younger seemed to be about the sweet spot. You know, 15 to you know 25 years younger kind of worked for me. Um, that was kind of age-wise. I like a tan lady, like I said. I like the traditional village uh, lady uh, thing that kind of works for me. I find that appealing. I find it kind of cute. I find it kind of sexy in its own kind of soft, sexy kind of way. Uh, the real overt sexiness of women wearing, you know, uh, um, the bikini-type underwear and stuff. You can see through her skimpy clothes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you dyed hair and, and her ble bleach skin and everything. The bleaching the skin is very popular here. Um, and the, 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 you know, cosmetic surgery, a lot of the really pretty girls, a lot of that's cosmetic surgery, which is, you will be shocked when you find out how common it really is here. It, it's extremely, extremely common. I mean, you'll meet, you'll cross paths with women constantly throughout the day that have all had plastic surgery and you will not know it. The surgeons here are really good and the Thai women's natural beauty takes to augmentation extremely well and it's very difficult to tell. Where in the West, you can kind of see, oh, that lady looks like a little better, but it looks kind of fake here. You'll never get a whiff of that. That looks totally natural, totally believable. They've got it nailed down. Anyway, so pay grade. So, you know, if you're an average 65-year-old guy and you're going to, you know, want to date somebody, you know, dating somebody 20 years younger than you would be a piece of cake. That's a 45-year-old woman, a piece of cake all day long, 25 years younger than you. I think if you have a nice pension you and you're willing to share a little bit, uh, you, 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 you are willing to help with maybe some kids it's, and, and you have to do almost nothing. It's going to be a figurehead really. Um, and you see the daily stuff with my vlog on that and that's, that's what you'll get. If you're willing to help the family a little bit, help the parents, because if she's a Nissan type, uh, you know, you know, traditional tie, whatever you want to call that, uh, a lot of them help their parents. That's generally the retirement for the, for an individual is their daughters fund their retirement. Usually the sons are too selfish to do that. My opinion, my words, you know, whatever about that. I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't been told about any sons giving money to their parents. I'm sure it happens, but I haven't been told about it at all, or I've been told dozens of times of the daughters helping the parents. So, so I, I know it's a big disparity. Anyways, um, so that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. You know, now, you know, your average American, you know, I'm still a little overweight. I still need to lose that last 10 pounds. Um, 
But you know, average American, you know, you're heavier and all that stuff. If you if you if you get your clothes fitted so you kind of cover that up and you look good, and, and you're probably tall, and particularly in Thailand, you're probably tall. I'm only five foot nine, and here I'm 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 quite tall. Um, but if you're five eleven, you know, six one, you know getting to be, you know, average tallish for an American, you're very tall here. And then you can kind of, if you're a little heavy, yeah, big deal. You get your shirts fitted, get your clothes fitted, you look good, get your hair dyed, stay shaved, unless you can rock some kind of facial hair, great. And maybe you can rock a gray, silver gray or white hair. I have a friend, I mentioned him before, he's extremely handsome. He has paper white hair and he's crushing it. And even Fawn was kind of gushing. And I, I wasn't jealous at all. I thought it was totally cool. We're, he's a good friend of mine. And I'm not worried at all. But she was kind of gushing on how handsome he was. And I, I, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. And, and, and she was right. I mean, it, you can see all the women looking at him when he's walking around and stuff. He's an older guy, but you, know, you get that. So but you, you, you got to kind of come up with your thing. Um, I will caution you against wearing too much traditional Thai cultural clothing. The, but the, almost the only time I get dirty looks from Thai men is when I'm wearing uh, traditional Thai cultural clothing uh, that Fawn has wanted me to wear. Now, if I'm walking with Fawn, then it isn't so much a problem. But when I'm by myself, it looks like I'm just kind of aping or taking on, you know, kind of uh, taking their culture. What is that? Appropriating their culture. And uh, it doesn't go over very well. Uh, I can see the guys don't like that too much. And I don't, I don't like to, and that's up to them, but I don't want to walk around hurting people's feelings all day either. That doesn't, you know, isn't my goal. Um, so I'd caution you on that, but there is Thai style. It's still mostly, mostly Western clothes. It's just neat and tidy, really clean, everything pressed, ironed. If you don't have a wife or girlfriend yet, you're dating, fine. Find a good laundry place. They'll all iron and start your stuff to whatever, you know, however you like it. And I get all your stuff really, have your clothes looking really sharp. Um, and, you know, I would wear some of the in stuff. You know, we've talked about that before, you know, the... Uh, um, McJeans is a huge brand here. Um, the CC00, Coco, I guess that is. I don't know if they call it CC00. That's a big brand here. Um, uh, Skechers is a real popular shoe here. Um, they make real comfortable old men. I got some slip-on Skechers I'm wearing right now. They're real comfortable and, uh, and they're great. Um, uh, and all the times, you know, those are you know, 2,000 baht a pair. And so you're, you're flexing, but a little bit. But a little bit, and you're wearing something that's kind of in style. Um, you get some brand new glasses and get the tinting one so it looks nice when you're out in the sun because it's sunny every day here. It's awesome. Um, you know, and get your hair cut. And I got, I'm due for another haircut. Fawn told me yesterday I'm due for another haircut because the sides are too long now. It's almost shaved on the sides. Real short on the sides is the look. And, uh, and uh, you know, if you've got like a lot of loose skin and stuff like I've had, you can either work on that or you can go to a, um, a lot of the fancy hair salons and the massage places will do a massage, they'll do a face massage as well. You go in for a weekly face massage and you will look younger. And you'll just look less uh, droopy and saggy and less sad and a little more like you had a good night's sleep. Like no one wants to look run down on purpose, right? No one says, hey, make me look as run down as possible. No one's ever said that. So. Um, you know, you get a massage, get a face massage as well. And you'll be shocked at the difference, honestly. It's, it's kind of shocking. Um, uh, I do that uh, regu weekly, regularly. Um, uh, plus, I'm doing this, the electronic skin treatments, which are shocking in how well they work. I had a, 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 like a mole here that went away, like seriously. I didn't know those things could heal. I had no idea. These huge, dark creases around my mouth, and 90% of them were gone. It, I, that's weird that that even can happen, you know? Uh, that's just weird. I, lo I looked older than I was. I looked, I was, you know, 58 when I started the skin treatments, and people were guessing my age at like 63. And now I'm 59, and people are guessing my age at 53. Uh, 50 to 55, mostly it's people say 53. So I've lost 10 years of apparent age in six, seven, seven or eight months of skin treatment. So for me, I'm happy. I don't look beat up and haggard and worn out and like I didn't sleep last night or like I was on a three day bender with some Smirnoff or something, you know, it just, I had that look. So pay grade. So you'll get a sense and, and um, again, don't date online, please. If you can at all, for God's sake, avoid it. Try not to do that. It's just so bad here. Um, Generally, you know, you're kind of getting the idea here. So if you're going to try and go under 30, then that means you should be younger yourself. So the age difference isn't as much. And you'd better have some looks and some personality and some money. Because if you're looking for women under 30 and you want them to actually like you, okay, because we're not talking pay for pay, play for pay, play for pay, you don't need my, my channel. You just 
go take some money, go to the nearest bar, find one of the girls, you bar find her out, uh, take her for three days, and, and you like what she does for you, then you can marry her and you're all set. You don't need to worry about a darn thing. And you can get to have your pick of how big a boobs you want and everything else. And, and that works for some guys. God bless them. They're happy with that, and that's fine long as that works. For me, I've got long-term health prospects. I know things are going to get ugly at some point, and it's so far been happening much more quickly than I would have ever wanted. Uh, I need someone that actually will care about me. Um, and Fawn's a fantastic caregiver. And to a point, she's, she's, she's a certain percentage of a pension chaser. She kind of, I'm less work. You know, if, we're, if, if, if I'm a little bit less firm, I'm a little bit less work for her to manage and, and, and take her stick and beat off all the other women trying to steal me from her. Um, uh, so, so it kind of works as I age and all that. It, I'm kind of hitting her sweet spot. You know, you know what I mean? It, it, it's 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 not going to uh, hurt her feelings any. So, we're, I'm joking a little bit, but it, it's kind of a fit. So, uh, I would I would think of your long-term prospects. Most of the guys I know that have been here a while have either settled down or have been looking to settle down. Most of us, as much as we think we want to just date hot women the rest of our lives, we tire of it after a while. And I would I would, you know go sow your seeds and then you know, pataya. I mean or or. If you're looking at that, I would maybe look at possibly Koh Samui or, uh, you know, if you can afford that, or, um, you know, uh, Phuket Island or something like that. You know, try maybe or Hua Hin or something. I don't know, but you know, try somewhere else maybe. But, but if you like Pattaya, hey, great, good for you. And uh, lots of nice restaurants there. You know, and it's, uh, all those places are expensive. You better have the money for it. Um, or you're going to be in one of those uh, Falang slums, you know, whatever. But... Uh, if you're trying to settle down, um, then a lot of the guys eventually do seem to, the ones that I know, of course, I guess, so there's going to be a bias to the channel, but then they've been there for a while, then they come out here and settle down with their lady. And so this is more about that kind of thing. And I would really encourage you to, to avoid anyone with any experience with tourism in general. Um, a woman can have fantastic tourism experience and all that, but, but and it doesn't have to be sex tourism, but... Oh my gosh, 90, 95% of it probably is. Um, it, it's scary, you know. There's there's very few legitimate reasons why a young Thai woman speaks really well, speaks English really well. Um, you know, Fawn's a language teacher. You know, Devo's wife is a language teacher. Okay, you get that. That's great. Lucky for me. Fine. Uh, but you know, for you, you know, if they worked in a hospital, you know, nursing's a great career, great place to find. Uh, uh, um, a, a nice young lady, you know, and at the banks, the banks, uh, the hospitals, and the schools, those are great occupations to try and find a good classy lady who maybe has had some exposure to Westerners, speaks a little bit of English, that it, it wasn't, you know, a sex worker, which if you want a sex worker, that's fine. I'm not saying that makes you a bad guy or certainly doesn't make, certainly doesn't necessarily make the girl bad. A lot of them are tra trafficked against their will, but um, you get what I'm saying. If you want to marry somebody, your odds are just better to find, you know, not a prostitute, in my opinion. That's just going to be my opinion on that. Now, where I see go wrong, where it goes wrong a lot, is a lot of guys, six, you know, right around mid sixties and up, dating women, twenties, mid thirties, smoking hot. I mean, and the guy is looks looks like a bag of dog crap. He looks awful, and he's got this smoking hot wife, and sometimes. Fawn will either know that lady through the village or uh, in other ways and or she'll uh, end up having a drink with them or something as a couple and it's shocking what the Thai women share with each other. It's just truly shocking. You know, the guy's being totally screwed. You know, and he has no idea. You know, uh, and the lady's laughing at him. And I mean, do you really want to be with someone you think of as a life, life partner and they're just mocking you? I mean, you know, there's a fine line between being like, like, not, I, like it's all cool when people say, I don't care what other people think. And that's kind of cool. But then business travelers, one of the biggest complaints you'll hear them say is that when they go to do business in Japan, one of their biggest fears is the people in, that they work with in their same room and same department may hate their guts and they won't know it because the Japanese are notoriously super polite. So no one really wants to be hated, right? You know, why? give money to somebody to have them like hate you and then you're having you know intimate being intimate with this person and they just despise every time you touch them and all. i mean to me that would not make me happy i mean i i i just wouldn't want that so if you want a more genuine relationship i think you're better off staying within some kind of pay grade you know um and you can tell by the reaction from your woman sometimes how you know sometimes how jealous they are 
That isn't always a good indicator, though. It's a little bit of a tough one, guys. You know, I don't know how you, I mean, I, like with fun, it took me a long time to kind of work this out. It might be the same for you. I don't have like five quick tips to know that you're, you know, but I would really watch the, if you're dating in the, in the pool, the same pool competing against Thai men, you better have a hell of a lot to offer. Because uh, the women really have a strong preference for them over us. Um, that's a real tough sell. So, anyway, that's, that's what I got, I guess. That'd be my number one thing. So, if you can stay, you know, definitely over, like, 35, your odds are just, odds drastically improve in your favor. If you're willing to take on someone with a child or two, particularly boys, the time men really don't like other male children from another guy. They, they do not like that. So that woman's having a very hard time dating. And they'll be more appreciative of you. You know, Fawn's very appreciative because I help her with her two boys. And uh, two cultural boys, which are the most difficult. Um, and she's got a cultural family, which is a more difficult fit. Um, you know, and the language barrier is giant because her parents speak absolutely no English whatsoever. Um, and uh, they speak a, 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 a taiko lot with a very heavy country accent. Very difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm learning it. I'm getting a lot better at it. But wow, are they hard to understand. You compare with how some of the videos with our crew use in e-talks on my language videos and then go to a, a rural village somewhere deep in the Asan region, and you'll be like, they're not saying the same language at all. You, you, would, you would not think you're in the same country, and you're kind of not. Anyway, so, all right, that's about it. So there's pay grade. I would really pay attention to that. I really would. You know, you improve your pay grade with your attire and your haircut and maybe take care of your skin a little bit, shave, facial hair, you know, manage, come up with a look that you get some Thai friends to say, yeah, that looks good. Thais are usually pretty honest. If you ask for an honest opinion from a Thai person, in my opinion, you'll get a nice, honest answer. They're generally very jidey about all that. And uh, I would kind of pre-qualify yourself and kind of get yourself put together, you know, and then uh, it'll be hard to stay single. It'll be, you'll have a very hard time staying single and you'll have to date on a very limited, I'd be very choosy who you go out with. I'd go on as few a dates as, as you really are, makes you happy because you're going to tend to kind of get mobbed uh, once you clean yourself up a little bit and, and, and you're making any attempt to respect the culture. If you're watching this channel, you're probably the kind of guy that's going to learn how to say Salwa Dekomp nicely and bow a little bit and why people who are you know, older than you and, you know, and after you've been introduced and you know, not be a moron about it, you're going to probably pick up like some cultural respectful things about you taking your shoes off in various places you know, where the foreigners walk in with their shoes, which is considered very rude. They won't say anything to you, but it's very rude. Um, you know, uh, things like that, you know. Uh, if you're doing all that, your desirability is really going to go up. They're going to see you as more of a catch by that. Because that's the feedback that Fawn's getting all the time. It's, oh my gosh, he can speak, and he's polite, and he's bowing, and, you know, they, they love that because they really don't like the other kind. They put up with it for the cash. And so it's up to you what you want to make your relationship about. All right, good luck to us all. Bye. I know do. Looks good though. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.